So let's just have a look at the lineups again. Gerpa wins Lincoln and Hazard. That's for unknown. And for Skywalkers, we have Piz, Nunk, LaForge, and Gatti. This is clan base. He got a cup 26. It's a group A match. And it's 1 0 at the moment to unknown after first map. Around a 40 frag victory for them on their map. Choice of the fortress. So this is Skywalker's map pick. But despite that, I wouldn't necessarily say, even if they're strong on it, it would necessarily favour them more than Hidden Fortress. It's not totally locked down tactical style map. It's a massively different play style to Hidden Fortress, for example. I mean, it's no, but I think their, te their teamwork will count for more on this map than it did on the previous map, and they certainly have a teamwork advantage over Unknown. It's one of those key aspects in your game. I mean, actually, if you can lock down as many of the items as possible when you're developing through TDM, you are going to be a powerful outfit once you become technically better as players. Three, two, We're going live in 3, one. 2, 1. And here we are, following the forge of the start. He's going to leave that weapon for his teammates. I'm going to switch around to Pagatti, who has just taken that yellow and the shotgun, and he's going to be straight on this rail. Unfortunately for him, Lincoln will have a time on it, so presumably they'll be back for that second rail gun. Wow, Hazard going down point by range shotgun. I'd say, if anything, this map's going to be even worse for Hazard if he still hasn't sorted out his sound. Oh, yeah, definitely. Way more angles to think about on this map. Well, quad and battle suit will spawn at the same time. There it is. It is 35 seconds in. LaForge getting that first quad. So he was ready to grab that one. No one picks up the battle suit, though. It is in the hands of Wins. Only 12 health as he picks it up, so suggesting a bit of a battle over it. Lincoln providing him with the rocket launcher, though stealing his health bubble. Yeah, and with no quad to worry about, he's just free to find as many kills as he can. He's already secured and taken this red, so he'll be able to move out wherever he thinks he's going to find the enemy. Does manage to grab himself a cradle rocket ammo as he chases down the gap. He can spawn that's a brilliant rocket. Rocket jumps straight up again. Of course, it does do a bit of splash damage nowadays, Battle Suit, as it didn't in Quake 3. And Piz just going down, but stealing away that railgun before he uh, cropped it. Yeah, and straight back to this red. So already they're doing a good job, unknown, of making sure they're keeping that red fairly secure. In fact, they haven't actually allowed Skywalkers to take even a single red armor so far. Well, it looks like uh, you've got a strong focus on wins controlling that red from what we've seen, and that would be a wise choice if I was selecting who goes where. Well, certainly, because it's going to mean Skywalkers, if they want to dislodge wins from the control of red armor, they're going to have to commit two or three players to take him out. Probably Nunk at the moment, he's only got five health, but he's done a decent amount of damage there in 33% LG. In fact, he's going to reward himself with a mega health. Yeah, it's been a good thing that Mega was coming up, because the weapons he had, he only had 5 health, just one stray MG bullet, and he'd have lost everything. Friendly fire, potentially, yeah. Exactly, I mean, it always surprises me, but, you know, he had a teammate next to him, possibly it would have just been safe, or sensible, whatever you want to call it, to just give away some of his weapons, even, even though he was waiting for that Mega, just in case. Well, it looks like, to me, Hazard's also supporting wins, attacking that red armor position. We see Nunk just working on the yellow position. He's actually... Come here with the good timing leading up to this battle suit. Quad is first, four seconds ahead. Oh, Nunk takes a heavy rail there. Big problem now. It's going to be hard for him to get into this. Watch with the quad grab, though. And where's that battle suit? Lincoln takes it. So we're going to stick with him because he's got a very nice stack going into this. Yellow armor did just spawn as he ran past it, though he's decided to ignore that one. Desperate for that rocket launcher. Where's the quad? I'm going to switch around to the quad. Well, there is the quad. Meets head on head. With Lincoln, shotguns are plenty, but surely Lincoln's going to come out of this to the better off. And eventually the frag was got them, was there to help of Lincoln's teammates rather than him, and he's missed out on the red armour. So, uh, not the greatest power up runs either way, but unknown have come out of that power up period to the better off in terms of frags, building the lead up. Yeah, they have, but. Now. To be honest, control of the map is still fairly even. You know, the power-ups obviously were kind kind of at a stalemate there. I mean, there wasn't even though Lincoln made the kill or assisted the kill, you know, it didn't really give them any kind of advantage. What 
I'm saying every time I just get a quick peek is Skywalkers will attack that red armor and make sure they get it with four players at the same time. They seem to have good coordination. Their time in this mega from what we've seen as well, which we haven't really seen any unknown challenge on the mega health. We, s we haven't really seen Gerpa at all around the red armor, so I'm guessing he's working the rail with Lincoln mostly, but there he is there. He does manage to blow himself up. And it seems to be left a little bit more to Hazard and Wins to take on uh, Skywalker players at the red. Well, they're certainly coming out on top in the red battle when they're all there. I mean, Skywalkers, they commit quite a lot of players to try and secure the pickup. And, you know, when Unknown are there to counter them, they oh, are really winning those battles. All the Skywalkers diving down pretty much the three of them. Oh my god, Gerpa moving back. But Gatti just diving in and taking that red away from him. <laughs> Somehow they come out on top of Gerpa. You would have thought he'd still manage to pick up the kill, but he didn't. And Nunk, nice conversion frag off the spawn there. Get another maybe, but here's the quad. And again, LaForge taking that, and it's pretty clean. Wins with the battle suit. Wow, great rockets. There's good pressure on the battle suit though. I mean, they didn't come away over there, Skywalkers, but good pressure on the pickup. Switch around to the quad who did spot the battle suit, but waiting for a lightning gun. There it is. Up, he's 100, 100. LaForge. He wants to take on this battle suit. He might pin him up against the wall if he needs good LG against wins his LG. He actually comes out on top there against the battle suit carrier. That's a good frag. Yeah, wins just couldn't get a lock on him, and you know, LaForge didn't have a great lock either, but that quad damage just gave him enough of an advantage. It does eventually get eliminated by a nice rail through that window from the Gerpa. First impressive for him. So if he just gets going with the railgun, we could see a rapid change in the scores perhaps. As we saw how dominant he was in Hidden Fortress with that railgun. It's another grouping ready for an attack on the red. Gerpa moves around to this window position to hit some rails in. That would be excellent play. I haven't quite taken it over, but there's 18 seconds to all the red. It's the kind of room you don't really want to be standing in when the items aren't up for. Yeah, it's true, because you see, you could see just a moment ago how easy it was for Gerber to shoot down into the red room. Doesn't have any rails left, but he's still a threat. And any time a team is controlling the area surrounding red, it just makes that red pickup not so safe for the other team. Gerpa's one of those players I almost feel like if you want to learn how to play TDM at a lower level. You kind of watch him because he's so good at surviving for long periods of time, retaining his weaponry. And he takes up good positions to deal out damage, you know, throughout the whole map. He's never really out of the action for that long, even when he has to go into areas that you don't necessarily expect to meet that many opponents. You know, he's in to get the items and then back out doing damage. I can't believe this again. Another free quad damage for Skywalkers with uh, the Forge. So free battle suit this time for Lincoln. See where he will meet the quad damage. I'm going to switch around to the quad damage. You sneaking up. Hazard spotted him. He would have communicated that to Lincoln. There's Lincoln running back. Switch around to him. And with the help of a teammate, takes out that quad damage. Really rush back so quickly there, Lincoln, to take out that quad. That's the guy with a power up running here, isn't he? Quite exciting, fast player. And he managed to pick up three frags in the end on that one, as well as helping his teammate take out the quad. So turned out to be an excellent battle suit run. And there's his sixth impressive there from Lincoln. 64% rail, 38% lightning gun, even the 55% rockets, as we saw the rocket shots there, very nice. Yeah, he certainly had a good start to this map, Look, looking a lot sharper than he did at the start of him Fortress. I can't right, really see a very, very clear strategy from Unknown, but they do seem to have quite a focus on the railgun area. We've seen multiple players there, quite a few opportunities. In fact, every time the rail's been up, I think we've seen at least two Unknown players there. Yeah, I think there is more focus on the rail, and you know they've had a lot of the red as well, but you know the times they don't get the red, they, are, they have those railguns in positions where they can just put out damage onto the red. And it would suggest a rail kind of play when they've got 24 yellows to 10 on the pickups. And they, the reds are pretty even, as are the megas. But uh, it's it's quite strange to see 4 to 4 on the, the power-ups. But one team with all the quads and one team with all the battle suits. Well, we've seen that uh, only once has the quad come out on top against the suit. That was when Wins was taken out by the forge. 
Lincoln looking in such an excellent position for this battle to lead out. We will be switching away though, and I guess when the quad's been picked up by wins on this occasion. This could be a double power up. Hazard manages to grab that battle suit and he's strong enough to survive. Might switch around to wins though, see what he can uh, do with this quad. 15 seconds left, lightning gun and red, and he's got a mega to his name. He's got a rail gun, plasma. This is going to be beastly. Yeah, nowhere safe for uh, Skywalkers to go at the moment with two power ups on the run. Yeah, switch round. Hasn't only got one kill that. So they did evade quite a lot of frags there, but the only problem is if you're evading the power ups, then you're not in the key areas to control. So these, this next minute, maybe two minutes, is going to be very difficult for them. It is, and another big problem they have is they're only nine frags away from Mercy Limit. So we're following Hazard at the moment with that red armor to his name, shotgun in hand, two of his teammates around him as well. They're just hunting the frags. They know that Skywalkers will not be in strong positions in terms of armor. Or probably even weaponry. So it's time to take advantage. Although Hazard moved all the way around the map and they missed out on the next red. Maybe a bit of a mistiming from him, but also a miscommunication that nobody took his position. Hazard eventually getting a kill there. Only 18 health, could be machine gunned down. Oh, he missed out on the next red as well. Looks like he had a, like, a, a timing on it, but just turning in too late to really challenge for the pickup. Yeah, and no one with them either, and that's kind of what we've seen most of the game. They're not that focused on going to red as a team unknown. Well, we're over halfway through the map on the time limit, but six frags away from the frag limit. Lincoln picking up the quad on this occasion, and that spells trouble for Skywalker, because they focused on the battle suit on this occasion, though. So let's see if... Um, take on this quad. Oh, Lincoln's pinned him up in the corner. Excellent. And that's a yeah. free roaming map. He's got four frags in this run already. Even with that suit, as soon as Lincoln pins you to the wall, you have absolutely no chance. Just get hunting. Managed to frag his own teammate first. It's a 40 frag margin, so they still got quite a few to make up. In fact, they lost out over that power period. Interesting. Yeah, surprisingly, considering Lincoln did kill the battle suit. Red Armour now in the hands of Lincoln. And we will stick with him until he dies, I guess, but 72% rail for him at the moment. Much more like it. Of course, he did end the first map with, I think, 60% rail, so he did bring that back quite rapidly. What have we learned about these two teams, then, on this map for? Impressive. Well, I, I don't know really. I mean, I'm still surprised that Skywalker's picked this. I mean, they didn't seem to play well on it in their qualifier. And, you know, they're not really showing any reason why they'd have picked it now either. I mean, they've been good on power ups, I guess. They haven't given away double power up, have they, at any point? No. Uh, yes, once they did, actually. They? Oh, yeah, okay. Or was it then with Quad up? and Hazard with uh, Battle Suit? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, they're not playing badly by any means, but they don't seem to really have you know, any kind of advantage over Unknown at all on this map. I mean, I don't know what their strong maps are. Maybe something like Grim Dungeons could have been a good pick against Unknown, but no, it's not going terribly for them. Yeah, I mean, interestingly, it's kind of near the frag limit, but it's not likely to hit it that quickly at this rate. Nunkien, that battle suit, has switched around to wins with the quad. He's waiting for maybe a lightning gun, maybe the red army's missed out on the red, it looks like, so it's not going to be an easy run. Here we go, Nunk has managed to grab himself a mega health. He's got a lightning gun and rocket launcher as well. He could really cause some mayhem. There's that quad first rail from wins. It's a second rail as well, almost hit the third. Wow, that's... Wow, look at that, direct rocket, but I was going to say, he didn't manage to hit as much lightning gun as he would have wanted on that one. Long. Oh, 
Well, we're just hovering around the 40 frag gap, and I mean... <laughs> It's yeah, the like game's just, it's continuing the same way, this game. The reds are even, the megas are even-ish, and it's unknown dominating the yellows and the rail. That's just kind of how this game's been going the whole time. Yeah, it's... Now, unknown aren't really showing any urgency to you know, secure the red and make sure they're the ones getting it. They just don't seem too bothered about that. Maybe, uh, is that a good tactic, or maybe it could cost them in future games, or...? Well, I don't know really. It's enough to get them through this game, but I wouldn't say it's optimal. I mean, I'd have thought with their control of the rail, they certainly would have been able to open up more opportunities to get in on that red. But if they're not going there as a team, then maybe that would just cost them more frags. Because you know, Skywalkers have been pretty focused on getting the red, it's just they haven't necessarily been able to do that much with it. Power ups up in a second. It's going to be quite a couple of seconds before the battlesuit wins. He's in a good position. Well, look, he's going to leave to his teammate. Missed out on the quad grab, but Bugatti has managed to grab himself the battlesuit. He's going to get an easy kill on Gurp. The quad's been eliminated by my switch command not working. So, free battlesuit around the map. Has a kill on Hazard there, second kill on the board, Hazard off the spawn again, three kills. Kind of surprised he didn't make his way over to the rail, I mean that's really where we've seen most of Unknown's play you know, start from on this game, on this map. Wins has been stalked from that window where for the last few minutes. Excellent. You can see that he's playing around this red area, he does so much damage, does such a good job Wins, but it seems like he's just playing on his own a lot of the time. I feel like he's a little bit out of sync. Well, here, here his team are now pushing into red, but they do. I mean, Gerpa takes the red armor, so maybe Wins was really mistiming it a little bit early. Well, he was in there and early and did a lot of good damage. I mean, it made it very easy for his teammates. What did he do? Two kills and then a hell of a lot of damage to the third. Gerpa had his lightning gun out there with one ammo. Gonna miss out! Oh my god, Piz getting that grenade in. And he pays the price for running into that one. Four minutes remaining now. Yeah, and Sky just, you know, they're just making it hard for Unknown to actually get to this mercy limit. It's one frag. Just Lincoln hasn't got too much hazard going down there. They're and considering playing. they could have hit this mercy limit about seven minutes ago, they were close to doing it. Skywalkers are really actually frustrating them. Yeah, let's have a look at some of the stats. Hazard again, minus 11 net, 4.3k damage. I'm presuming he's still got those sound issues. Yeah, switch around to Gerpa with this quad, and this could be a good opportunity for Gerpa. He's five frags. Nunk has the battle, so he's going to get the yellow as well. So we've got one frag on the board as we just switch around to Gerpa there. With that shotgun point blank range exploding his opponent. Spots one of the Skywalkers players underground, but he's just chasing shadows at the moment. Piz is eliminated, and the battle suit just does enough to push Gepo away. Drops down behind, though. Good team support. Good team is still two frag deficit. I can't believe how slowly this is moving. But there you go. Uh, yeah, eventually, they hit the mercy limit. They switch to the statistics. Anything highlighting spotting there? Well, I mean, pickups. I, I still don't think unknown are doing as well as they probably should against you know an opposition that they do individually outclass. Now they are kind of almost reliant, you know, with the way they're playing on their individual skills and going into the tougher games against uh, teams like Sito. Uh, I think that's a risky thing to rely on. Now, they're going to have an individual ability advantage over everyone, but I just, I just don't think they're going to do as well as we expect if that's the way they're going to be playing.